everyone. I just wanted to forewarn you that I'm kind of crabby today, so this vlog might be really, um, like, angry. <laughs> I'm not trying to be, but I'm just so annoyed with so many things going on right now. Like, the, first, the start of it all is, okay, I had a giveaway, and I, um, it was back in November, at the end of November, <clears throat> and I, um, messaged the winner and it was they could pick anything they wanted so she picked her palettes and then um when I went to send it out send it out I had so much stuff go on between then and now like I had um my uncle passed away my other uncle was in the hospital every day for a month and I was up there every day and plus I'm working full-time so I don't I hardly got time to film and when I did film, I filmed late at night. I have hardly put up videos since the beginning of the year because there's been so much stuff going on. So this lady, and I'll tell you who it is because I know a lot of people are familiar with her. Um, she was fine like up until, I don't know, like January sometime, which I completely understand, you know. Yeah, it was at the end of November, then there was Christmas, and I know I'm responsible for sending the package, and I should have sent it earlier however there was so much stuff going on that it was the the last thing I was thinking of you know family and all that stuff comes first and so then she started harassing me saying that she um was you know picked a cheaper palette and whatever and I said that was not my decision you could have picked whatever you wanted I messaged you and I asked you what what you wanted to win or, you know, she said what she wanted and whatever. So it wasn't my decision. She want, she chose what she got. She could have picked whatever she wanted. But anyway, so she starts talking about that and whatever. And then saying I'm a liar. And then she would start leaving really nasty messages on my Facebook and then videos of mine. And so, I, and so then I was just like, oh, whatever. So then she... Um, I messaged her and I said, I am done with your nasty messages. I am done with your comments. I don't even want to deal with you anymore. And I, you know, I sent her package and she got it. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, I got your package. I'm so excited. Thank you, doll. XO Lorette. And just really nice. And I said, I am so glad you got your package so I don't have to deal with your nasty comments and messages anymore and whatever and it was along those lines and then she said something back oh and then I said oh and enjoy your free makeup that I bought and I and then she said oh I I'll, I'll try it as long as it doesn't make me fat like you or something like that and then I said I'm so enjoying this I cannot wait to show people your messages to see how you really are and then she goes don't threaten me and then something and then okay so this is Lorette Young and if you make videos you know who she is because she comments on everyone's videos and it's always an uppercase writing and she then the next message was all lowercase and she said I don't remember exactly what she said but then she she goes something Shannon she goes peace out and then a bunch of, that does not sound like her at all okay so Part of me thinks that she's scamming people because on her page it says, hi, I mean, I do think she is the age. She says because on Facebook she has a picture like that. She had me on my YouTube Facebook. And then she all of a sudden, and then it says like she's gone through all these things. Like I had a heart attack and a stroke. And like right away when I when I was doing the random.org and I saw her name pop up, because she had commented on all on my videos. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Then I looked at her page and I was like, now, I mean, I feel really you know excited that she won because she seems so deserving well I've talked to quite a few people and they're like yeah I've seen her win quite a few giveaways so part of me thinks she's scamming people and even if she's not just because you're sick does not give you the excuse to be rude to people like I get that you wanted your package quickly but you won a prize you did not pay for anything you won you won it and you like it's just ridiculous. I mean, I can't get over it. And then she said that I was harassing and threatening her. And I I have the whole conversation saved, like what I sent, what she sent, et cetera. 
And I, not once ever did I threaten or harass her. I said, I am so done. She said to me, you better quit harassing me or you will pay it. Or I will make you pay it or something like that. And I said, really? Who's harassing who? Like, this all turned negative because she didn't get the prize when she wanted it. And you know what? I remember when I first, before I even made videos, I entered giveaways. And sometimes it took a while, but I never once complained because I won it. They didn't have to give it to me. They didn't have to go out and spend their money. They didn't have to go to the post office out of their day. Like, that's, that's my point. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to tell you guys about it because it just... It's so mind-blowing and so, like, I just, I would never say something like that or be that rude to somebody, and I just can't get over how she is. Like, she just puts on this poor me, poor me type of thing, and then all of a sudden, it's like she turns into this raging bitch, and I got, I, I don't understand it, so whatever whatever you know I I'm not letting her ruin my time at the time I was very upset I think this was on Monday and I was talking to Kristen game about it too and she's like I can't believe she's being like that she's want to give away of mine too you know and and to the to the naked eye you know yeah she comments on her videos and whatnot and she's really nice but then when it goes gets down to the nitty-gritty and she doesn't get what she wants which she did, she has her prize, but when she didn't get it when she wanted it, she turned into a really negative, evil person. So, just letting you know, I'm just forewarning you, if you come across her, I'm be warned. And I, you know, I have a lot of friends here on YouTube that make videos, and she just, and I, I feel like I need to tell people about her because I have seen the nasty side of her. So, Anyway, that's like my big rant for the day. And I'm just, <sighs> I just, there's so much going on. Like, and I'm, I'm trying to work through it. Like yesterday I just got into a negative mood and it's just, you know, I was like, oh, I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up and I'll be a, in a better mood. No, like Andy's grandpa died on, was it yesterday? Yeah. It's there, his grandpa died yesterday. And, um, so he's going to California on Saturday. I can't go. And I am annoyed with that. And then my, uh, Mikey, you guys know who had the seizures and stuff. My dad, we talked about it. And he's going to put him down, but we're not sure when. And that's not, that's not like, it doesn't make me mad. I'm just really sad about it. But I know that it's for the best because he won't be suffering and, whatnot so it's just a bunch of like little things that are bothering me and I'm not trying to let them I'm trying to move on from it but the point of these vlogs is so I can vent to you guys because you guys always seem to understand and the thing that with these are is that when you are having a bad day somebody else is and it's just nice to say oh I'm not the only one if that makes sense so I don't come on here to get like uh, sympathy and to get a pity party and anything like that that's not the point of it the point of it is that I want people to know that you're not going through it alone you're not the only ones that have bad days and you're not the only ones that wake up on the crabby side of the bed I'm there too with you okay so um, but even though we wake up on the wrong side of the bed you still have to appreciate everything you have in your life and you have to appreciate the people in your life and although those people in your life can piss you off, you know, your family or a friend or something, you still have to be appreciative because you never know when the last day can come. And although I'm like angry with particular people or annoyed, I can't let it interfere with everything because I just need to work through it in myself and get past it. You know what I mean? And I like for Lorette, I really hope that she is not scamming people. And I and I told her, I said, I hope you get your stuff figured out. I really do. Because what she's doing right now and how she's acting, I I just I just can't get over it. And I and she always says in her message, God bless, God bless, God bless. Okay, well for a godly woman, you are really unkind. So that I'm just saying. So anyway, um uh, yeah so 
I'm going to try to still smile today and still be in a happy mood and still just don't let it affect others. I don't want to rub off on others and make other people angry. I want to be happy and I want people to be happy. So at the end of this and through my rant, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you're having a good week and don't let me make you crabby or upset, but let's just get happy and um, in a better mood together. And yeah, that's all I got to say. So I will see you guys soon and um, take care. Bye.